What's up everyone? And today I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Sue ships now. Sue ships just actually got some support in um, Burst of Destiny and now the deck is pretty much completely out. And I've been waiting for the last of the support because this was a deck that I was excited for in Dawn of Majesty but of course we only got like uh, four of the cards and now we got the other four. So we got the whole deck out now. And this is actually a pretty fun deck. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now one thing I just want to mention is that this is a going second deck more so than it is going first. More so because the uh, Dreadnoughts are better at going second than they are going first. But first, we obviously run the three two ships Shari. Shari, it's a normal monster with uh, some really long flavor text. I also run the uh, three Ikura. Ikura, if you control a Shari, you can spell some of this card from your hand. And during your main phase, you can activate the top three cards from your deck. And if you do, you can add or add to your hand or special summon one activated Sioux Ship Shari from your deck. Or special summon the Sioux Ship Shari. Then shuffle the rest back into the deck. So it's a free summon. That's basically the one thing with all the Sioux Ships minus uh, Shari. Because Shari has no effect. Like all the other Sioux Ships can actually special summon themselves from the hand. So most often times you don't even use your normal summon. Which uh, really helps with Rescue Hour. You just want to put in some monsters that's good at normal summoning. Next I run... One of the new cards, the Iron th 3, Sioux Ships Shiro. If you control Shari or an XYZ monster that has Shari as material, you can special summon this card from your hand. And during the main phase, you can special summon one Gunkin monster from your hand, except, Shar except uh, Shiro. Then you can take any number of Sioux Ships Shari from your deck or graveyard and place them on top of your deck in any order. Now, that affects a lot better than you may think it is placing the cards on top of your deck in the order you want. Considering all the uh, all the huge up XYZ monsters that they're XYZ summoned using um, Shari, which 90% of the time they are, you draw one card. I also run the three Sioux ship Uni. Now with Uni, you can reveal one other car Gunkin card in your hand. Special summon this card from your hand and then apply the following effects based on the revealed card. If it was Shari, you can special summon the revealed monsters, so aka the Shari. And if it was uh, any other Gunkin card, place it on the bottom of your deck. Then, you can target one Gunkin monster you control, change its level to 4 or 5. So you can also go into rank 5s with this, which is definitely really cool. I run 3 Rescue Rabbits. Since you most often times aren't going to be a uh, normal summoning any of your sea ship monsters. You definitely afford to run the rescue rabbit. Then I run a bunch of hand traps. I run three Nibiru, three Ash, three Crow, and three Ghost Bell to round out the monsters. Moving on to the spells, I run three Sioux Shipyard Seaside Supper Spot. Now, when a uh, Gunkin monster would be normal or special summoned, even during the damage step, you can place one Gunkin card from your deck on top of your deck. And once you're trying to face up a Gunkin monster, you control that with special summon from the extra deck, it's sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, activates this effect, your opponent pay, gain, pays life points equal to that monster's defense in the graveyard, then you can apply this effect. Special summon one Sioux Ship Shari from your hand, then special summon one Gunkin XYZ monster from your extra deck. By using this card, you control as material. Definitely uh, want it, especially in the going second variant. You want it even more so, because you can basically put your any of the uh, two ships you want. Like let's say you want to put Ikar on the top of your deck, and then when you go into any of the two ship XYZ monsters, you can add to your hand, then special summon it. Of course, I also run the one terraforming. Granted, since I do run a normal monster, I run three unexpected die and two painful decision. Originally I had painful decision at one, but I kept running into a problem where I'd have too many copies of unexpected die, painful decision, and rescue rabbit in the hand, and that kind of clogged because there's a lot of times where you don't even need these cards, so I did kind of uh, cut it out and into this a little bit, and then the hands were not quite as good, so I added two back. Also run one double or nothing, with going second and it's being 
basically being a rank 4 deck, why wouldn't you run it? Also run one Monster Reborn and an Upstart Goblin to round out the spells. Moving on to traps, I run three Infinite Impermanence, just another really good trap, one of the best traps in the game. Moving on to the extra deck, I run three of the Sioux Ship Uni Class Super Dreadnought. Each of the uh, Sioux Ship XYZ monsters gain different effects depending on which what their materials are. Now for now all of them have if they're used if Shari is used as material draw one, but each of them have different effects for the Akura, Siro, and Uni. For the Uni class Super Dreadnought, if it's uh, XYZ summoned using a uh, Sioux Ship Uni, this card gains the ability to attack directly. And once per turn during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target face up cards to your opponent controls, up to the number of Gunkin monsters you control, special summon from the extra deck, you get their effects. So, it's definitely really good at, say, you can use it to bait out negation. Like, let's say they got a Dragoon on the field, you can probably use that to bait out Dragoon. Definitely a lot of stuff you can do with that, especially in a going second variant. That's why I build a going second variant, because this card's just better at going second. Same for. Two ship Ikura class Dreadnought. Now this one, if it has Ikura as m material, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. And once per turn, when your gun can monster spell summon from the extra deck, inflicts battle damage to your opponent. Target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Also on um, E3, Shiro class carrier, instead of a Dreadnought's carrier. And uh, if Shiro is uh, used, you can add one Gunkin spell trap card from your deck to your hand. Now, out of the three, I would definitely say that's probably the one you're going to go into the least. So, if you want to, like, say, cut it down for something else, that's that's fine. And he has the additional effect. You want a face up card is in the field zone. Gunkin and Monsters you control spells from from the extra deck cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects and gain attack equal to their original defense. Next, of course, I run Utopia and Utopia Double for the double or nothing play. I run an Exiton Knight, just a really good rank 4 that can basically nick the board. Dugaris, personally one of my favorite um, rank 4 monsters. I also run the one Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder. And an Axis Code Talker to round up the game to round out the extra deck. So let me know what you think of Sioux Ships. Do you think they're pretty cool? Do you think uh, they definitely got potential? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video I make. Bye.